At the National Museum of Lithuania, you get an introduction to the country's colorful history without even stepping inside. It's an imposing statue of the state's founder, its first Grand Duke and only king, the 13th century Mindaugas. Right at the heart of European geography and history, Lithuania was first an independent Grand Duchy, then a Commonwealth together with Poland. The capital, Vilnius, has seen centuries of dramatic and turbulent events. Its stunning medieval old town, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, was fought over and occupied repeatedly by Imperial Russia, by Germany, by Poland, and by the Soviet Union. In 1990, Lithuania was the first to declare independence from the USSR. Soviet troops marched on Vilnius, and 14 civilians were killed. After worldwide outrage, the country finally emerged as a free nation. 21 years on from that declaration of independence, Lithuania is coming of age as a modern Baltic Republic. Vilnius is a thriving cosmopolitan capital, where today's innovation and industry pulse in and around the spectacular legacy of history long past. But even history as dramatic as Vilnius is doesn't on its own make a town a destination for conferences or exhibitions. The question is, what does this city have to offer the meetings industry? The city is lovely. The city has a wonderful atmosphere. Two hours to fly from Frankfurt, Copenhagen or Moscow. It's just on the crossroad between east and west. In 2011 regional ICA rankings, Vilnius is currently in first place across the Baltic states and in third position across Eastern Europe. Interestingly, ICA itself has held a large meeting in the city. So we actually brought in about 130 young sales, marketing and research professionals. They'd known about the culture through all of the marketing of the destination, but I think what surprised them was the level of technical know-how. Very good broadband, Wi-Fi everywhere, very enthusiastic people, very well trained, good command of English, a nice place to organize a meeting. And a place with conference organizers and destination management companies to expand its business. International associations are always a huge interest of us to attract because Vilnius is the city of knowledge, of development of the future. A lot of nice, young, smiling people. You get to see a lot of those young people at one of the city's oldest and most distinguished conference venues. You wouldn't know it to look at the students, but Vilnius University was established in 1579 and this incredible library even earlier, in 1570. Below is the lower castle, which now is the cathedral. We can see immediately the university quarter with the St. John's Church. Vilnius University per year have around 150 conferences, from which about 80 conferences per year are international, and the rest are national. As a center of excellence across many of the sciences, most of the university's bookings are also in such fields. Conferences have three main goals. The first main goal is scientific, so is discussion, lectures and so on. Second goal is to meet old friends and to find new ones. And the third one is to have a cultural experience. And this is what Vilnius can offer. In the university's grand courtyard is the church of St. John the Baptist and its bell tower. This contains a Foucault pendulum, that simple, elegant scientific experiment that proves the Earth does indeed revolve, though not always around the event you're promoting. A short lift ride up the ancient structure, following the pendulum wire, there's a breathtaking view of the city. But as attractive as the city's old town undoubtedly is, not all infrastructure in Vilnius is four centuries old. Welcome to Lit Expo, the largest exhibition and convention centre in the region, home to 500 events a year. We have five exhibition uh, halls and 11 conference halls. So we are most modern and professional exhibition and convention centre in the Baltics. Lit Expo boasts over 17,500 square metres of indoor exhibition space. There's almost as much again outside the buildings. Its 4,100 square metre conference centre has just been completely refurbished. But the venue says it's not just the new facilities that it's got lined up for its customers. 
the level of the service they can get, I think, will be very satisfactory for the client. If Lit Expo looks a little light on expos right now, that's because throughout our stay, there's a very different game in town. Lithuania is hosting Eurobasket 2011, the Baltic's largest ever sports event, and Vilnius all the second stage matches. The night before our university visit, the national team had triumphed over Serbia. Due to that, I still have lost my voice. We are very glad, very proud, but it's not the final, and we are waiting for tomorrow game with France. To tell me more, another Mindaugas, not a Grand Duke or King, but the General Secretary of the Lithuanian Basketball Federation. We are benefiting a lot from the cement uh, as a capital because uh, the second stage of Eurobasket is the biggest uh, 12 team coming and of course the biggest quantity of fans coming to Vilnius and uh, of course city has um, airport, hotels, a sport infrastructure, places for entertainment, beautiful old town, nice city centre and everything tourists need. Basketball really is a second religion in Lithuania and it's been more than 70 years since the country last hosted the European Championship. It was held in 1939. We won first place, so expectations really high. Still we are winning, we are very happy, the nation is happy and I hope that it will be the best year basket ever been. By general consensus, it was. But Lithuania did get knocked out in the quarter-finals. If you need accommodation and venue to be one and the same, Vilnius also has convention hotels. This Radisson Blue is one of them, with a conference and event centre of 17 rooms, from Alpha to Omega. This is where ICA's research sales and marketing programme was held, along with many other meetings. We had a NATO summit on the level of Ministers of Foreign Affairs and uh, Minister of Defence. Also, we had uh, UNESCO Worldwide uh, Congress, uh, we had uh, Esperanto Worldwide Congress and uh, quite a few international corporate uh, events and uh, parties, etc. If you're not even leaving the building to get to your event, at least many of the Radisson Blues rooms have great city views across the River Neris. That glass building, by the way, is home to Barclays Bank in Vilnius. It's the eco-friendly Green Hall and it features perhaps one of the most unusual meeting spaces we've ever seen. These floating pods, they're just perfect for hammering out the design details of your latest flying saucer. Meetings Review itself had a most enjoyable stay at the Artist Centrum. This also has a conference centre, just about the largest in Vilnius's Old Town. It can accommodate up to 500 visitors in a suite of halls, business and meeting rooms. Instead of Greek letters, each room here is named after a different opera, for added sense of drama. But we also couldn't resist popping into the nearby Sticklii, or Glassblowers Hotel. It's a sumptuous five-star boutique in what was once the old town's glassblowing street. In its time, the hotel has played host to both Hillary Clinton and Dick Cheney, making the politics of its guest list every bit as gloriously eclectic as much of the decor. And just outside town, we visited Le Meridian. This is five-star as well, and has its own conference wing, 8,000 square metres, across six floors. It's a beautiful facility with two ballrooms and 15 breakout rooms, all in one defined section of the hotel, and our ballroom can hold up to 900 people in a theatre-style setting. Golf is also on offer at Le Meridian, a championship 18-hole course. American Florida type of golf course, a lot of water, and all of a sudden it turns into a Scottish Lynx golf course. It's a mixture. The course draws visitors largely from Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland. But if basketball is Lithuania's second religion and the Eurobasket teams are staying right here, golf is rather more exotic. Golf is relatively new in Lithuania, so uh, they're very surprised here when people come from Scandinavian countries in massives and, and occupied their land. Definitely for the future, it's a golf destination. On the telecoms front, Lithuania is also above par. Nation uh, number one in the world according to mobile penetration in 2006, fastest mobile broadband uh, in the world in 2010, and first commercial mobile NFC payments in Europe and certainly in the world.
as well as using Eurobasket to try out payment by mobile. Omnitel also let the press and match officials test out its new fourth generation network. All journalists and FIBA staff were enjoying uh, world-class fastest mobile internet in their daily work. The Baltic states are one of the most connected places on earth. The combination of culture and high tech is really kind of interesting. And there's a political commitment to innovation here too, to the tune of 1 billion euros. The Lithuanian government is investing in five valleys in high technology sectors such as lasers, ICT, mechatronics, biotechnologies, also in agriculture. And in these valleys, open access centers where all over the world scientists or business which is working with scientists uh, could uh, come and uh, could use the infrastructure we have. Vilnius's local politics includes a colorful mayor, Arturus Zouokas, here receiving a gift at an event in the city's town hall. Mayor Zouokas has introduced an electric bicycle hire scheme across Vilnius. And in August, he took a stand against luxury vehicles parking illegally in bicycle lanes by apparently running over one of them with a tank. The stunt won the mayor several million hits on YouTube and proved that public service can be delivered with a sense of humor, just like his special message for Meetings Review. Vilnius is the best second city in the world after the city where you live. We have one of the biggest old towns in Eastern Europe, friendly and uh, wonderful people, very active cultural life, good quality hotels, conference facilities, and uh, definitely you should come to Vilnius. Our final lesson in Vilnius history is the colorful story of amber. These ancient pieces of fossilized tree resin have been traded here since antiquity, and this basement museum is a celebration of the gold of the Baltics. Most of the world's extractable amber is deposited in this part of the world, much of it containing trapped insect life in true Jurassic Park style. So if they ever do extract dinosaur DNA from this stuff, this will be the region it comes from. From an ancient university to a major sports championship, we've discovered in Vilnius a gem of a place with lots on offer already, but also real ambition to become a significant European destination. And that's something this city is jumping through hoops to achieve. In Vilnius, Lithuania, I'm Robert Coram for Meetings Review.